Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thailand Dreaming, Love Letters from Retirement. Uh, this is number two in the series of videos I'm doing on uh, Rob and Bee's house build. Uh, as you can see now, we left the last video with the driveway going in and the uh, pool going in. Uh, this is the day came over and had a swim in the pool and celebrated the completion of the pool. Rob was very happy about it. Matt and Rob having a couple of beers. Must admit I had a couple too. So now uh, the house is at the stage where the actual home is almost complete. Uh, as you saw in the last video, uh, we got uh, to the stage uh, with Rob's update videos that he's uh, so kindly allowed me to use of the driveway going in and uh, there was also uh, some trees had to be moved to uh, other places on the property for the pool to go in and then there was the... Uh, big operation of the uh, pool being uh, lifted because the uh, truck couldn't get into the property so the pool had to be lifted and uh, carried with the crane down the side and then the pool went in and then of course uh, the next few stages I'll leave up to Rob hey, welcome again. back guys just a very very quick update um, as you can see from the last video most of the trees are in at the front. I showed you the back last time. Um, and here's all the, the grass. So they're starting to level off all the soil. Uh, different to Australia, it comes in big long rolls in Australia. Um, here it looks like about half a metre by half a metre squares. Um, as you can see the grass is quite, quite thick as well. And we've got our sprinkler system installed as well. There's more, more grass at the back, ready to go in. Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd just trod on the sprinkler. <laughs> I'll walk around the back and I'll show you what the sprinklers will look like. We've got two different types of sprinklers. It's all run through blue PVC piping. Those are the small ones here. And you can have the spray. You can organise it so it comes this way and that way and it just fans out that way inside the garden so it doesn't waste water watering the driveway. And they pop up out of the ground with the water pressure. He has to do all this. It can take them two days. And these are the other types of sprinklers. Um, we've had a lot of rain lately, so the ground's a bit soft. Um, they're big round ones. So what they do with the water pressure, they just pop up out of the ground, and it kind of rotates, kind of like that, do 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 do, like that, and comes back again. And you can set them at whatever arc you want. These ones here. I just tripped over in the mud a little bit. These ones here are going for 360 degrees, so they just go around in the big circle. The ones back off onto the pool there, they're 180 degrees, so they just come out this way, so they don't actually put water into the pool or wet the tiles. And again, they have to level all this off with their their rake 
I'll get out of this section because it's a little bit, little bit muddy. It's all right for the Thai people because they only weigh about 50 kilos, so they can walk around it quite easy. But when you're a slim 102 kilos like me, um, you do tend to sink in the mud a little bit. And what they do, they they're laying the grass, and then they roll the grass in with their roller, similar as they do on a bowling green, I'd say. I've seen those rollers before, and similar rollers on cricket pitches and all of that. So they, they roll it all like that, then they water it in. This is the only section that doesn't have sprinklers, because we're not going to dig up the driveway and run sprinklers under the driveway. So it's only just a small section that can be watered by a uh, standing sprinkler from the hose, or just by hand with the hose. So they've been going for about an hour and a half and these these trees here what they do they're gonna apparently they love to be surrounded by rocks so we've got a whole heap of um big rocks down the back so we're just gonna put a like a little rock garden border around that okay welcome back so this would be the outside bit all the doors leading outside have fire screens so you just turn the knob like that and they just slide over and they recess back into a small cavity here so nice and easy so this is the back deck where we spend most of our time um, it's white mahogany the table and chairs so the deck in size is 10 meters by 4 meters so it's all tiled so we just hose it off when we clean it coffee table set which is was made in Thailand many years ago for us and then we have a, a Thai style outdoor kitchen rice cooker air fryer um, we have a water filter here too because you can't drink the tap water in most of the Asian countries um, so that's like a four four filters in one reverse osmosis so it's all in that box there And just use that tap there to fill up your, your water bottles. So that's a gas cooktop. So the swimming pool, which again for you guys that don't know, is 12 metres by 5 metres and about 1.45 metres deep. So those are all non-slip tiles as well. Into the sailor. That's our outdoor table. Um, that's quite heavy. It's one piece of timber. It is 3.2 metres long, a bit over a metre wide, and it's four inches thick. Um, <laughs> it took about eight people to move it. And then just in the corner over there, we have a Thai-style um, charcoal barbecue. Stereo in the corner. Six-burner barbecue with a, a side burner as well. That's from Barbecues Galore in Australia. Um, the beer fridge out here. Again, I had to put the Broncos up because B follows the Broncos. If I didn't, I'd be in trouble. But I always have to put the Manly one up too. Um, that's the fire pit we brought from Australia. Don't know if we're going to use it in Thailand. It does get cold for a couple of days of the year. So just some spare water jars. All the water jars are full. You can see on the back there, I'm not going to walk down there because it's um, a bit hot out in the sun. But the, the whole block's in tight three rye, so in western terms it's 4,800 square metres. And we have the all the palm trees around the pool, which will grow up to bigger palm trees. That's looking back at the back of the house, of course. So it's a nice... Nice sunny day, not overly warm, probably about 32 degrees. And then we've got some of these coconut trees here. Actually, I was in the pool was it two days ago, and it was quite cool. 
um, even though it's only like 1.45 meters deep it was actually quite quite cool not chilly but just cool enough to be very pleasant and you can see the blue water tank in the corner behind the, the pool pump room which is a cartridge filter um, it's a salt water pool and we do have a sprinkler system for the grass as you can see those cocks here we have four different sections so it's all pressure activated and the, the sprinkler heads here we see here go into the ground so when you turn the the isolating cock on the pressure pushes them up and they oscillate around so there's 28 sprinklers in all and another little veggie garden for bees she's got a couple down the back um, you see tomatoes cucumber lettuce um, we have mint everywhere as well lettuce has grown quite well we have kaffir lime trees everywhere numerous fruit trees etc and if you're wondering, yes, the driveway is asphalt, tar, bitumen, whatever you like to call it. It depends what country you're from, I suppose. Most of the Thai people tend to go with concrete, but um, concrete does age and it gets a mouldy and it, I, know, I just don't like it that much. Um, here's the stamped concrete in the garage carport area. Grass is looking quite, quite green and quite healthy. And it's very um, soft and spongy. It's really, really nice to walk on. So the landscaping guy did quite a good job. We put some of our little touches onto it as well. I hope this comes out okay. It's not a bit. It's pretty glary out here. So I don't know if it's showing up on the screen. Um, our gate, which is five meters wide, that's an automatic gate. There's the motor down there with remote control. We have an electric doorbell as well. So you just push that. We can answer it inside and let you in. Have hedging plants along the fence there. So they'll grow up eventually and cover her fence. All the way down to there. And just looking back at the, the house from the front now. These support posts you see on the, the bigger trees have to stay on for about six months just so the trees take and the roots get into the soil quite well and they don't blow over in the wind. So they've been on for about three months now so I'll probably take them off in about May or June or so, leave it for a little bit longer. Of course we have the stamped concrete here as well and then it runs off into the tar. That's why we didn't continue this fence all the way down we just wanted to leave that open because you've got a nice aspect yeah, so we want to block that in and be looking at concrete and wait for our plants to grow up and then down this side we don't use that too much this is where the house water tank and pump are so we just did a, like a, a little rock garden down here so nice and easy low maintenance there's the pump of course you need a, a pump with your water tank in Thailand because the mains water pressure is not great we have about Around about a bit over 10,000 litres in total for our storage. Um, we use about 3,000 litres a day just to water the grass and the plants. Here's Bee's other veggie garden. Tomatoes, spring onion, etc. She's planted some more stuff in which is starting to grow. Don't know if you can see the little seedlings coming through. Pumpkin vine which just went wild and grew everywhere. That'll be pulled up very soon. I think it's past its use by date. We have more pumpkins down the back. As I said, with a lot of other different plants, vegetables, trees, etc., etc.